Meantime, at Fort Myers Beach, a third hurricane in two years is prompting change, not only in how the place looks, but in how some residents feel about it. We want to go to CBS News Miami's Larry Seward. He is live on the island. And Larry, because of all this, some homeowners are rethinking their rebuilds. Naja, look, right behind me, what you see over my left shoulder, you know, this is not an unusual sight in the city of Fort Myers Beach. A home damaged by past storms, sitting on the same block with rentals and full-time homeowners with piles of debris, fresh piles of debris and change. They're wringing water out Fort Myers Beach kitchen drawers by the pot. Flooding climbs so high. We gotta help. Peter Albert sees a shift building. He owns and runs 160 vacation rentals, many of them swamped with mud and water stains. Hurricane Milton's surge caused the third flood here in two years. Here's my new construction. It's changing the way Albert builds and rebuilds. We're now putting our pool pumps and pool heaters up higher. He showed us risers for $1,000 pool parts and new homes sitting on concrete one story high. Inside those hardened walls, there'll be no wood or drywall in order to simplify storm cleanup. So they'll come in, power wash it, clean it out. It'll be like it was never done. It's a standard Don Hunter buys. He and his wife raised their home after Hurricane Ian. Storm repairs since keep the snowbirds stuck mopping up muck while keeping anything valuable off the ground. Everything downstairs, I, f I figure, is, is expendable. And we, but we, even so, we lifted it about three feet off the ground, and which was enough for, uh, for this one. He feels good about where they are, but hoping changes to the way people live don't ruin a place they love. As you're coming down the street, there, there's three or four uh, giant uh, houses being built. Uh, a lot of our neighbors are afraid that that's going to be the new norm. We're hoping not. But with so much cleanup around the island, they're not wringing hands over changes yet. The biggest change that many people here want, power. Many of the homes on this block and around the island still do not have power. We've seen power crews on the island working to fix that, but there are no grocery stores open, no gas stations open here. Still plenty of work left to do. Live in Fort Myers Beach, Larry C. with CBS News, Miami. Just one storm too many. We can certainly empathize and understand how people would feel reluctant to rebuild. Larry, thank you.